What's going on everyone? My name is Rich. This is Theme Park Motivation and today I want to talk about Storm Runner. Just celebrated its 20th anniversary and I don't think it's a little too soon yet to start talking about the future of Storm Runner. And although Hershey has an excellent maintenance department, probably the best out of any theme park in America, sooner or later you have to do a retrack or something to maintain this coaster and having a smooth ride and a good experience for everyone. Now I would say the average lifespan for a steel roller coaster is 30 to 40 years before it needs a retrack of some kind. So it's got about 10, 15 more years at least, but that's not what I'm going to really get into. I'm going to talk about could we possibly see a spike? on Storm Runner in the future. Now I've been going to Hershey Park for over 30 years. I know this park very well and I'm telling you this is something we could definitely see come to Hershey Park. It makes perfect sense given the success of Wildcats Revenge, taking an old coaster, changing it up into something incredible. Obviously those are two totally different styles of rides two totally different manufacturers but think about it Hershey Park could market this thing as a brand new coaster a totally different experience with a fraction of the cost of a new coaster now I'm not saying that we're gonna see this happen in the very near future I'm saying we could see this happen five years from now I think it'd be a wise investment on Hershey Park's part if you don't think that Hershey Park is sitting back and seeing what's going on with Cedar Point right now and Top Thrill 2, well, I got news for you. They are absolutely keeping their eye on Top Thrill 2 and probably notating that they don't want to use Zamperla for any ride modifications. Now, if you asked me a year ago if I thought that Hershey Park had a great relationship with Intamin, I probably would have said no. However, Given the fact that they worked with Intamin to get the new restraints for Skyrush, I would say the relationship is pretty good and I could definitely see Hershey Park working with Intamin to possibly reimagine Storm Runner. You might be wondering how could Hershey Park possibly do this? Where would the spike go? I'm going to get into that here in a minute. One thing's for sure. They would have to do a switch track of some sort. The best example of a switch track I could see them possibly using would be something like Icebreakers, where it has you leave the station, go out, and basically the whole track pivots to the right. And then of course, once you finish the track layout, it connects right back into the station. This is probably the best example I could give for Storm Runner and how it could possibly work. Given how Storm Runner's station is set up, where it has two sections, both sides load and unload, it already has a switch track as it is. However, it wouldn't need a switch track on the back side of the station for the return train. So there's so many different ways that Hershey Park and Intamin could work on this thing. But I want to know what everyone else thinks. Do you think this is something that we could see at Hershey Park? Do you think it would be a wise investment for Hershey Park? And most of all, do you think it would make this coaster a more complete coaster, given the fact that this ride is only about 35 seconds long? So if they were to add a spike, the possible location for the spike that I could see happening is basically right by that spiral staircase. And the reason for that being, I could see them leaving the loading and unloading station closer to the side by Jolly Rancher Remix. Given the fact that there's not a lot of room on the backside right next to Trailblazer, Trailblazer lines up with this coaster with probably only about six to eight feet. Now you may be wondering about space, but if you take a look at the structure, this is after you come out of the top hat, go down into that gully, and this kind of does an Immelman roll into the Cobra roll. And if you can kind of see how confined that structure is. It really doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Now I know this is from one of the impulse coasters that Imptimin has built, but if you can kind of get the basic idea of the structure in which they could use, 
basically in reverse, being the fact that the impulse design is an invert. However, modifications to the station would still need to be made, given the fact that the track does not line up completely straight with the station. As you can see, not only that, it doesn't line up with either side, being the fact that there is that switch track. So we all know that Hershey Park doesn't go for records. I don't think we would see a spike any higher than 150 foot, given the fact that the top hat is only 150 foot and then has a 180 foot drop, roughly, give or take a few feet. So you might be wondering, how would this thing launch? Well, it would not be a hydraulic launch. As much as I absolutely love hydraulic launch coasters, they are so intense, there is nothing else like them, and there's not that many left out there. However, that's for good reason, because LSM launches are much more reliable, much safer, and pretty much the best way to go as far as launches go anymore. So there's definitely enough room to put the staters in for an LSM launch before going up the top hat. There's at least 200 yards, which is more than enough room to get the job done. I really think it would be cool to see a spike right before the station. It would be the easiest way to get the job done without having to do any major modifications to the station. Another reason this would be a great idea would be the fact that they could get some new trains, maybe the new gen Intamin trains, the awesome pull down lap bars. They are great, very comfortable. Now some of you may not agree with me on the spike, and that's okay, I get it. But just ask yourself, what are these parks doing nowadays to save money? And the answer is, they're reimagining. And I would just ask everyone to reimagine a different coaster in the location of Storm Runner. I can't, because this thing is insane. It's literally on top of structure. There's really no other coaster that could fit there. I mean, Intamin did an excellent job on Storm Runner. Hershey Park doesn't have a lot of space, period. So what could Hershey Park put in that location? There's not a whole lot of options. So this brings me to reimagining this coaster, whether it be a total retrack of some sort, or maybe a few different layout options. I would really love to see a twisted spike. I think that would be cool. It would be different than a lot of these other parks are doing. And maybe like one airtime hill, that would be cool as well. Also the fact that this coaster would then be a multi-launch. I would really love to thank everybody for watching. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. If you wouldn't mind just hitting the like button as well, it really does help. Thanks so much. Hope everyone has a great day.